Hello Flip Noise users, uh, today we're going to be looking at fixing timing errors using scissors, um, flex mode and transient markers with different algorithms to suit different audio. Um, so I've got a bit of audio that needs um, some problems sorting out, I'll just play you that. So you can hear some snares there that are wrong. And bass that's wrong, some chords, strumming guitar chords that are wrong. Um, so the first thing we want to do is isolate which sounds are playing. So a good way of doing that is to solo each track one at a time um, and listen to just the drums or just the guitars, just the bass. Uh, so we'll start off with the drums, get those tight to start with. Um, but also I want to isolate different bars. So I'm just going to do two bars, uh, put the cycle on, so that's just going to cycle. And then I'm just going to zoom in on it so that we've got, see the whole of the drums and also zoom in here. Now you could use this using command up and down if you want, or left and right to zoom right in. Um, it just lets us incorporate the whole screen so we're not fiddling about on a little thumbnail. Um, now looking at this, you can start to see the problem area is probably around here where this snare is a little bit late. So this snare looks a little bit late here. Um, so good way of starting, probably use scissors. You always need a couple of uh, techniques up your sleeve to see which one sounds best. Uh, maybe scissors is a good starting point. Um, um, it won't work on everything, so I'll show you a couple of modes. Um, but with scissors, I'm going to put my scissors in this second toolbox. I always have my pointer in the first one, uh, scissors in the second one, so every time I hit command my scissors will come up and I can just cut up audio anywhere I want. Um, I'm just going to command Z that, get rid of those. Um, so our problem area was here. So I'm going to put my scissors on using command. I'm going to highlight the beginning of it and then I'm going to click my mouse. Okay and then same at the bottom where it hits the bottom, the snare ends, the hi-hat begins, same as this hi-hat by those things. So at the bottom of that transient there, I'm just going to cut it there. Now what I can do then is move it. So I want to move it over here. Now these little white grids here, um, you can set them to whatever you want. Um, we've got it to smart to snap at the moment. Um, you could do it to bar. So every time you move this, it moves it a bar at a time. It won't drop it anywhere in between. Um, that's quite useful, but in this case, we're just going to have on smart, which basically means it will go to all of these white little lines here. Um, so we want to move this along. I'm going to get rid of some of that end of that because we want it to go probably on this next grid along, one grid along like that, and I'm just going to pick it up and drop it. And that's fixed that. So that's one way of doing it. Um, Another way of doing it um, would be to use flex mode, which is a bit like Ableton's warp mode. Uh, it's like a time stretching function. Um, so I'm just going to move my um, cycle along. Uh, notice I didn't stretch the ends. I just grabbed it with the white glove in the middle. It keeps the two bar shape then. Uh, we can listen to the next bit. That bit sounds good, so I'm going to grab my white glove, move it another two bars along. And there's a problem area at the end, so I'm going to move it one bar further, just so that we're in the middle now, just here. And it looks like that's coming in too early, that kick. It wants to be on the downbeat there. Uh, so again, command, arrows, zoom in so we're a little bit bigger. Now, without cutting it, I want to time stretch it to the right place uh, and you can use this thing called a flex mode. Um, to do that you need this function on so uh, if it's not on at the bottom you can double click it uh, and we want to do the whole file so we're going to time stretch the whole file uh, or parts of the whole file. Um, we're definitely going to flex the whole file um, put transients in. Um, so the first thing you need to do is this button here, which is transient editing mode. Uh, we're going to click that on and it will analyze the file. And every time it hears a drum sound, he'll put an orange marker there. 
okay so it's analyzed it and it's put it on and it's it's done quite an accurate job there um you can scroll along and you can check them out if it hasn't done it right if you see one in the middle or it's not got the beginning of a drum sound you've got a threshold here so you can select all the drum sounds and you, you can put more in or take them out if you've got too many taken out then you get this kind of problem I've got a kick and a snare in there that's no good I need them separate so what I'd need to do is go command A to select all the file again and move the threshold up until you've got a sound there now this looks like a hi-hat here let's just check that out you double click it within the area and then you can play it yeah there's another one there isn't there so I'm just going to increase that it's only going to do because I've only got that selected it's only going to increase transients in that little area so now I've got a separate kick there and a little hi-hat there so um, okay once you've got the transients exactly where you want them ah look this one's no good we've got some transients there that again a kick and a snare so again I need to increase some there and there's another one there so let me select the whole file and put some in until we've got one in every one that looks good you could do it manually you could command and put them in wherever you want and likewise you can double click them to get rid of them that's an accurate way of doing it um, once you've done that we then want to transfer what we've done there what we've marked down here to the arrange window um, now to do that you need to enable some more controls over here uh, to do that this button here shows and hides the flex mode so we can click on that and you've got a few buttons there that appear um, we first of all want to turn it on flex mode enable flex okay and then once we've done that all the transients from this editor appears in the arrange window so we'll just listen to that and you can see our problem areas here now if I was just to move this along and put the metronome on so we can hear the timing you can see it's moved all the drums along that one prong isn't what we want to use so I'm going to command Z that back to where we were if I move the one prong the mouse down it does turn in the bottom half of it the lower half turns into three prongs now what that's going to do it's going to automatically lock the hi-hat lock the snare and enable me in one maneuver to time stretch this kick to wherever I want so watch this I'm gonna click my mouse down I've not let go of the mouse yet in one movement I can time stretch it to wherever I want you can see there it's kind of dragging the sounds around uh, and I want to drop it on the downbeat just there so we'll just listen to that now it's put the it's actually got the kick drum in the right place now but listen to these artifacts it's put in now if I was producing I'd probably leave that because it sounds quite nice and it's got a nice nice little groove to it almost sounds like percussive um, <clears throat> but basically though they are created by the way the program uh, uses algorithms um, so you've got a choice of algorithms here at the moment it will always come on on the automatic mode the generic universal mode uh, that should work okay for most kinds of audio uh, but you can be more specific than that so if you click on it you can say okay is it monophonic is it rhythmic is it polyphonic now basically what these mean is is there one note one pitch is the timing important more important than the, getting the pitch right and is there more than one pitch going on in other words is there a harmony is there a chord going on in which case it will put a lot more processing power in keeping those pitches correct uh, rhythmic a lot more processing power keeping the drums in time um, there is a, another mode slicing uh, which acts more like recycle the um, propeller heads program where it cuts up and slices beats and samples and moves them rather than time stretching them um, so because these are drums either rhythmic or slicing so we'll leave it on this let you hear this first so it's 
kind of these two sounds it's stretched really like it but um, I'll just show you now on rhythmic Okay, and then slicing. Okay, so slicing is probably sounding a little bit better there. Um, so you've got to have all these techniques up your sleeve just to try out and see which one works for you. Um, that is um, flex mode. Um, and you do that on, once you've got the timing right, you can do that a little bit further along. Let's just do one more. Um, That's okay. Next one. Okay, so there's a snare, problem snare, just here. Three prongs at the bottom. Move it along to these white grids at the top. It snaps in because we've got snap on. Um, and we'll listen to that. Let's put that snare in the right place. And you do that with the other ones. So now we've got, we can switch that off and put the guitar on. Because we've fixed this, there's no reason why we can't have that on as well. Okay, and you do exactly the same thing. Find the fault, so it's probably going to be here. Yeah, so we've got a problem area here. So again, double click it, go to file at the bottom enable transients plus and minus so you've got every single strum at the moment you've got one two three four five strums in that so we need more threshold on that put that up until you've got every strum in check them one strum of the guitar there and um, yeah once you've done that come back up here switch on your flex mode the transients appear here and again, let's just focus in on making it a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing. Looks like this is a problem. Make sure you go three prongs, not one prong, and move it to the next grid along. And that's fixed the guitar. Um, again, it's on polyphonic. You can be more specific and put it on flex time polyphonic. Remember, polyphonic is more than one note. There's a chord playing here, uh, guitar strum. And that's going to be a bit more accurate. Uh, finally, you've got the bass line. Um, we can unmute everything now. This looks like a problem area. Click on it, switch on your file your transient markers, making sure that each transient marker is placed at the beginning of a bass note. Uh, let's just check this one out, this looks. Okay, so there's a bit of a delay on it, but it works. Um, I would not put a transits on every delay. Uh, uh, so this looks about right. If it's not right, plus and minus it. Um, make sure you've selected all of them by command A in it. That selects it all, just like a Word document. Um, then you've got plus or minus till you get that right. Uh, and then you transfer those up here by switching on flex mode. Um, choose the right algorithm, in this case monophonic, because there's only one bass note, one pitch playing. There's not a harmony playing, so. That looks late, so put the three prong on, move it along using the grid at the top. see they're all in line there uh, so you could see that was slightly out anyway um, and that is it so that is flex mode um, and scissors um, so just to recap I had my scissors in the second toolbox which only come on when you hit command uh, we then clicked our editor on at the bottom went on to file switched our transients on and we went plus and minus until we got the right amount of transient markers for each transient uh, we can draw them in manually by hitting command or double clicking to take them off uh, and then we switched on the enable flex view and whichever track you're working on you can switch it on using this choose the right algorithm uh, monophonic for 
one pitch is polyphonic for chords or harmonies if it's a vocal all mixed down on one uh, more than one pitch basically um, rhythmic for drums and slicing works for drums as well it doesn't time stretch it so much um, and um, the three prong is quite important as well it locks either side and time stretches it for you there uh, rather than moving all these it locks it there and there um, probably the most important thing is getting these transient markers in if they're not right then you get all kinds of audio artifacts so spend your time getting this right and this will just fall into place thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.